Welcome to Harvesting Clouds, where we take a practical approach to learning and leveraging clouds. In this video, we will explore the creation process of launch configurations and launch templates. Launch configurations and launch templates are primarily two ways of solving the same problem. Basically, you are creating a template for an EC2 instance from which you can create multiple EC2 instances. Let's start with launch configurations and we'll see how that differs from launch templates in the later part of this video. So here I'm already logged into the AWS console. From services, I'll navigate to EC2. In here, I'll scroll all the way down to the auto scaling category. In here, I'll click on launch configurations. So in here, we are going to create a new launch configuration. What launch configuration is telling us, as the name suggests, it's a set of configurations of regarding how to create an EC2 instance. So cre to create a new launch configuration, I'll click on this big button. Now the wizard will look very familiar if you have created EC2 instance following an earlier video. This particular wizard will look very, very familiar. In fact, launch templates is also going to do the same thing, but in a different way. So this wizard is similar to creating a single launch, uh, launching a single instance that is launching a single EC2 instance. So over here as the first step, just like creating a new EC2 instance, you will be selecting the AMI that is Amazon machine image. So in here, select the image that you want. And then in the second screen, you select the instance type. That is, you select the number of vCPUs, number of memory, and your cost will be associated with what you select over here. This is one part of the cost that the selection here matters. The next setting is to configuration, uh, provide a name for the launch configuration, uniquely identify this particular launch configuration. Let's say I'm building multiple virtual machines for finance department. So I'll name this as launch configurations for finance department. And in here, this is the second aspect of the launch configuration that will affect the pricing of the EC2 instance created from a launch configuration. That is requesting spot instances. Spot instances is Amazon's way of providing you the low cost EC2 instances, leveraging the leftover space on their data centers. So for any mission critical apps or any business dependent apps, I would highly recommend that you do not use spot instances, but for any processes like uh, you have an application that you want to deploy on multiple machines and you can afford to have 30% of the VMs running on uh, spot instances. So you can select uh, request spot instances in that particular scenario. So after we provide the name, you, for permissions, you can provide IAM role. You can even enable CloudWatch detailed monitoring for the EC2 instance, which will be built based on this configuration. In the next section, you select the storage related settings. You can reconfigure what kind of volume is going to be for the root. Is it going to be general purpose SSD, provisioned IOPS SSD or magnetic? If you want to learn about the details of all these settings, I highly recommend that you watch the video that we did earlier around creation of EC2 instances. I'll provide the link in the top right corner. Over here, you can also add new volumes. If you want to add a data disk, you can do that right here. In the next screen, you configure the security groups on your EC2 instance. So here you can add multiple rules. If your app is going to run on this particular EC2 instance or the EC2 instance, which will be created from these configurations and you already know the port that you need to open. So you can configure that uh, TCP traffic or UDP traffic for that matter and provide uh, select custom TCP rule or select one of the predefined rule and then provide a port number, for example, if there is going to be a database on this particular EC2 instance, I'll provide 1433 as the port number. 22 is to open SSH. And right now this is open for from everywhere. So I highly recommend that instead of anywhere, you provide a custom IP range and it takes CIDR format. So you will be able to provide that. For now, we'll leave the default single rule for allowing SSH. 
and I'll revert it back to anywhere for the source. And we'll proceed to the last section to reviewing all the settings. And finally, once I have reviewed, I can edit any of the sections by clicking on the edit details button on the right hand side. And then I'll click on create launch configurations. Once I do, I'll need to select an existing key pair. So I'll click on I acknowledge. This key pair is the one that I will need later on to log into the EC2 instance that will be created from this configuration. Finally, I'll click on create launch configuration. It will hardly take any time to create since it is only storing the configurations. It is not creating any EC2 instance right now. Now, these particular uh, configurations that we selected, as you can see from here, you can create something called auto scaling group that we will be discussing in subsequent video. We'll see how to leverage launch configurations and create an auto scaling group using the launch configurations. Now let's go back to EC2 category. Now in here, if I scroll all the way down and click on launch configurations, now the latest launch configurations that we created just now, that is listed over here. I can take actions, uh, I can copy the launch configuration and create another launch configuration by tweaking certain values in my configurations. Or I can delete the launch configuration from here. I can directly create a launch template by copying all the settings from this particular configuration by clicking on this button. Or I can create an auto scaling group, which we'll see in the subsequent video. Now, this was the earlier way of doing the things. The latest way of doing the same thing, that is creating a templatized version of all the configurations is something called launch templates. So under instances category, click on launch templates. In here, all you need to do is click on the create launch template and it will launch a wizard to create a new launch template. Now, the way AWS is getting the settings from you is a bit different, but if you look closely, all the settings will be similar to what we defined under launch configurations. So first of all, we'll start by providing a name. Let's call it launch template finance 101. In here, this is the major difference. With the template, you can have a versioning included. If you will modify a template, you can create a new version. And then you don't need to copy the whole template and keep on creating multiple copies. Within the same template, you can create multiple versions. So for example, the first version I'll create is 1.0.0.0. Later on, I'll show you how to create another version by modifying this template and tweaking minor settings inside the template. Now, if you know that you are going to use this particular launch template to create auto scaling groups, then you can click on this checkbox to provide guidance to help set up this template so that it can be leveraged when creating EC2 auto scaling groups. Now there are two things. There are two kinds of tags linked with launch templates. The first tagging is for the launch template itself. That is what we are defining here. So you will provide a key, for example, department. This belongs to the finance department. You can provide another keys like the cost center of this is whatever the cost center of your department is. Now these tags have been applied to the launch template itself. These will not be deployed or will not be assigned to the EC2 instance that is created from your launch template. That setting for EC2 instance related tags is down further, which we'll see in a short while. If you do not want to provide all the settings and you already have a template that you want to use as a starting point, you can do that over here. From the dropdown, you can select one of the existing template if you have one in your environment. And that way you don't have to configure each and every setting. You can bootstrap your configurations. Now scrolling further, this is all very similar, but in a different GUI that is in a different graphical user interface. The first thing that you are providing here is Amazon machine image, that is your AMI. Similar to the one that we provided in launch configurations, we can select one over here. 
instance type is your pricing, how many vCPUs, how many memory are you going to have? And I can scroll down, see all the settings, or I can select one. I can even search for the setting. Key pair, it is already asking you for that information that launch configurations asked at the end of the visit. The next is you can provide the virtual private cloud if you want to use that for networking of the EC2 instances created from this template. You can select a security group as well. For storage, you can change the size for the root volume. You can even change the volume type from here. And this is where you define the instance tags. So the tags that you define here are the ones that will be applied to the virtual machine or the EC2 instance that will be created from this particular template. You can add interfaces. The only thing that you need to be aware of when you, when you are creating templates, you can't add interfaces as well as security groups. You can create one of the two. If you are creating security group, then leave the templates, leave the network interfaces as is. If you are adding the network interface, it will say so over here, network interface and instance level security groups, they cannot be specified together. So specify one as per your requirement and remove the other. All that is left is to click on create and this is created for you almost immediately since this is also only storing the configurations. Now as the next step, why would you want to create a launch template or launch configuration for that matter? Not just for auto scaling or creation of auto scaling groups, launch templates help you create multiple EC2 instances in a predictable manner. Once you have defined the settings, you will ensure that any EC2 instance created from this particular launch template will adhere to whatever standards that you set up. You create a template once, provide access to your team to that particular template instead of asking them to create EC2 instances from scratch, ask them to only create from launch templates. Set up the permissions such that they can access your template and then create EC2 instances. You will get much more predictable process. And then auto scaling group is a no brainer. If you are going to create auto scaling group, you can create one of the another. I highly recommend that you start creating launch templates since it has the versioning feature in built into it. And this is the newest thing. This is the latest thing. And AWS says, or Amazon says that this is where their new development efforts are also going to be. You can also create spot fleet where multiple spot instances can be created. And then you can run a process and scale it across those uh, spot fleet. Now I can click on view launch templates and my launch template is listed here. I can select the one and then I can click on actions to identify what I want to do next with my launch template. Now, if you look closely here, you see modify template, create a new version. Now, if I click on this one, now I'm not creating a new template. I'm creating a new version for the existing template. Let's say I want to name this as version two at the end. I know it should be one, but just for the sake of example, let's uh, give it two at the end. And then for the source template, your default one, which is your version one, that is aut automatically selected. You can scroll down and make changes uh, whichever way you want. For example, I only want to change the AMI, rest all the settings I'm already good with. So I'll click on create template version. Also note that the button uh, mentioned create template version, not create a new template. Now, if I go back to launch templates, when I select the template and uh, you can see that the default version is one and the latest version is two. Later on, we'll see when we'll use this template in the subsequent video to create auto scaling group, I will be able to select which version I want. So that's all there is to know. Now from this particular template, you have the option to take either multiple actions or the thing that you want to do, launch instance from this template. So you can do that as well by clicking on this very first button. Similarly, you can create EC2 instances from launch configurations. The primary purpose we are going to use 
is to create auto scaling group in the subsequent video. So thanks for tuning in. Hit the subscribe button if you like the content. Uh, hit that like button as well. Let me know in the comments below which more topics you want to want me to cover and I'll try my very best to cover those topics in the subsequent videos. Thanks for tuning in.